Hello once again, and happy Valentine's Day. My name is Shay Yusuf, a fieldwork student here with Level 10, and we'll be moving through a 20-minute yoga video, focusing on Surya Namaskar B, and a little bit of variation in between. We'll take off through some movements that we previously moved through before, and we'll expand upon them. Equipment this today, or this evening, for Valentine's, will be a bolster of some sort, or a pillow if you have it. Just like we did before, we'll go ahead and start on our backs in a prone position. So, bringing those heels to slide close to your sit bones, feet about hip width distance apart. We'll take that nice bridge position with our hips, our back, our shoulders, and our head nice and anchored to the floor. Taking those arms down, we'll support the ground at any angle that feels best, and we'll move through the spinal segmentation one vertebrae at a time. Moving through, finding that breath to begin. We'll start with a deep inhale through the nose, if you can. And a relaxed exhale out the mouth fogging a mirror or a window as you release. Once again, nice, relaxed, quiet inhale. Elongated exhale, fogging the mirror or window. One more deep resetting breath. On the next inhale, we'll begin to drive our heels down through the ground, squeeze your glutes and extend the front hip bones towards the ceiling. Rising up vertebrae by vertebrae through that pain-free range, extending the spine to the shoulders. And then on the exhale, we'll begin to lower and flex down vertebrae by vertebrae, rolling down our spine. Each vertebrae, try to punch a hole into the mat as if you could push through all the way to the tailbone being the last to descend. We'll exhale through, release and adjust anything that you need. And we'll move on to rep number two. Rep number two, inhaling as we drive those heels down, extend the hips to the ceiling, rising up vertebrae by vertebrae in that pain-free range to our shoulders. And then exhale, descend and lower down vertebrae by vertebrae to the mat, trying to anchor and flex through the mat as you push all the way to the tailbone. Once the tailbone lands and anchors, reset anything that you need, release the breath, and we'll move through rep number three. Next, inhale, rising up through hip and spinal extension, all the way to that pain-free range, and then exhale, Descend and lower vertebrae by vertebrae with control. Having that tailbone being the last to hit an anchor. We'll release the breath, adjust anything that you need. And on the next inhale in, breathing in through the nose, we'll pull both knees to the chest, hug the arms around the shins, curve the spine as you tuck your chin into a ball, and we'll gently roll from side to side. Just on either edge of the spine, once again, just like dough or bread, kneading and rolling the tissues over the spine. Nice gentle roll side to side for five, four, three, two, and one. And then we'll keep the tight ball and start to roll front to back, moving from your shoulders to your sit bones. Go for three rolls there, and then on that third roll, we'll make our way to a nice upright seated position onto the sit bones. Breathing through, we'll circle sweep those legs behind us and come into a tabletop position onto all fours. Stacking the hands directly underneath the shoulders and bringing your knees hip width distance apart. Moving through some cat cows. On the inhale, 
We'll take cow pose as we lift our sit bones up the back wall, tilting our pelvis anteriorly. And then extend vertebrae by vertebrae in your spine as you drag the ground behind you, the chest forward, and the neck extends. Exhale to cat pose, starting in the pelvis. We'll take the sit bones as we squeeze the glutes, setting the sit bones down the wall towards our heels. Flexing vertebrae by vertebrae, rounding the spine, pressing the ground away, and tucking the chin. Round number two, inhale, cow. Starting in the pelvis, lifting the sit bones, extending vertebrae by vertebrae, ending in the neck. And then exhale, cat pose. Setting the sit bones down towards the heels, flexing vertebrae by vertebrae as you press the ground away, and end with tucking the chin. One more each way, round three. Inhale, cow pose, spinal extension. And exhale, cat pose, spinal flexion. Tilting the pelvis and flexing vertebrae by vertebrae. On the next inhale, we'll come back to midline. Make sure your core and your ribs are engaged. And as you breathe in, we'll flatten the low back, pressing the ground away equally in both arms. Breathing through here, nice core and rib engagement with the low back flat. On the next inhale, we'll send the right arm overhead for a bird dog and begin to extend the left leg behind you. Don't have to go all the way, but if it feels like you can, try to extend that hip and raise that left heel long. Breathing through here for 10. Five, four, three, two, one. We'll exhale, release the breath as you touch your right elbow to your left knee, and then going for 10 more seconds. Inhale to the bird dog, Engage the core, flatten the back, nice and stable for 10. Left heel stays high. That's five, four, three, two, one. Release the breath, send the right arm and the left knee back down. On the exhale, you can adjust anything that you need from side to side. Next inhale, we'll engage the core, flatten the low back. And taking bird dog on our other side as we reach the left arm flexing overhead and begin to extend the right leg straight back. Keeping the core engaged, right heel lifted, moving through for 10. Five, four, three, two, one. We'll exhale as we touch the left knee to, or the left elbow to the right knee per se. And then inhale, begin to extend the hip and flex the shoulder back up. Pressing strong, nice and away, last 10 here. Last five, four, three, two, one. We'll release the breath as we send the left arm and the right leg back down, tucking those toes underneath and shifting through to an active Child's pose. We'll sink the hips back towards the heels. Get a good stretch into the fascia of the feet. If you want to change the angle from side to side and sway in the hips, feel free. And then we'll make sure those hands are nice and flat, pressing the shoulders away. Next inhale, hover the knees off of the mat. Keep the weight of your hips back and we'll rise up into down dog. Lifting those hips high and straightening out the legs. We'll just take a calf stretch here from side to side as you pedal it out, bending one leg and straightening the other. Moving through for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. 
We'll gaze forward quickly in our down dog, making sure we have some nice technique. Making sure all 10 knuckles are down, palms flat, and you're squeezing through the distal fingertips. We'll push those shoulders to elevate away from the ground, shrugging them towards the ears. Inhale, bring the core and the ribs to engage. Lift those sit bones up the back wall. And then exhale, micro bend the knees and sink the heels down. Pressing away strong and down dog for five, four, three, two, one. On the next inhale, press to the balls of the feet, lift the heels high. Exhale, round the spine just like we did, forward to plank pose, making sure the hips and the shoulders are level. And then inhale, lift the butt and the hips high once again, and tippy toe those feet forward towards the hands, walking forwards till you can't anymore. Once you can't walk any more forwards, we'll exhale to sink the heels, micro bend the knees, and then inhale, rise up halfway, Ardha Uttanasana, a nice flat spine, reaching the sit bones up and the crown forward. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold, swishing your navel to your thighs, relaxing the head, neck, and shoulders. Try to lift those sit bones. If it feels okay to straighten the knees, feel free. The next inhale will rise up halfway once again. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Now sink the hips, bend the knees, allow the arms to trace the outer legs. And on the next inhale, we'll rise up vertebrae by vertebrae, having the head, neck, and shoulders be the last to rise. Rising up tall, we'll step to the front of our mat, bringing the feet hip width distance apart and setting up for chair pose. On chair pose here, Breathing through, next inhale, fill the lungs, nice and gentle. Exhale, sink the hips down and back, bend the knees and send the chest forward to chair pose. We'll extend the arms as much as we can, reaching those arms and shoulders back, and making fists into each hand. Holding here for 10. Five, four, three, two, one. And then bend those elbows, push the hips a little bit further back and the chest forward. We'll reach the fists into either shoulder or armpit, breathing through here for 10. Last five, four, three, two, one. Next breath, inhale, reach those arms overhead and forward, thumbs nice and tall, hips back, chest forward, for 10. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, squish your navel to your thighs, allow the torso to fold forward, relaxing the head, neck, and shoulders. Try to lift those sit bones up the back wall and straighten those legs if it feels comfortable. Inhale the next breath, Ardha Uttanasana once again, lifting the sit bones up the back wall and stretching the spine and crown forward. Exhale, plant the hands and step back to plank pose. Bringing those hips parallel to the shoulders so keeping the core and the ribs strong. And then from here, your choice through Chaturanga with the fulcrum at the feet, or you can lower down to the knees, send the shoulders over the wrists, and on the exhale, we'll bend those elbows back to the ribs. Descending down for three, two, one. Inhale, rise up to up dog, reaching the thighs and the knees off of the mat, stretching the core. And then exhale, take the hips up and back to down dog. Pedaling out anything that you need along the way. 
Setting yourself up for that nice straight down dog. Shoulders press away, core and ribs engage, lift the sit bones, bend the knees, and sink your heels. On the next inhale, we'll take three-legged down dog, shifting to the ball of the left foot, and extending the right leg up and back. Keeping that right heel lifted, growing long on the right side. Moving through on the exhale, we'll take a Banda Charger, moving to plank pose as we pull that right knee into our chest. And then inhale, lift the hips and the butt high, plant that right foot behind the right wrist. You may need to tippy toe it forward or drag with the right hand. We'll replant, staying onto the ball of the left foot, We'll move through to breathe as we rise on up to crescent lunge. Staying on the ball of the back foot, we'll bend our right knee to staff the knee over the ankle. Zip up the core and the ribs, engaging, and then inhale, reach those fingers tall to the ceiling. On the exhale, we're going to hinge forward, sending the chest and the arms forward just like we did before, pushing those hips back. Breathing through here, taking that right hand over the bent right knee, we're going to go for three rotations. Inhale, reach forward, exhale, send the right hand to the side, opening up the chest, and gaze down on the floor for balance. Reaching to the twist, we'll inhale to rise back. Two more, rep number two. Exhale, into the twist. Inhale, rise back. One more. Exhale, into the twist, challenging the balance. Inhale, rise back. Chest forward, hands and fingers tall for five, four, three, two, one. Release the breath, send the hands and the arms back down to the mat, and we'll circle sweep that right leg back to plank pose. Stacking the shoulders forward, the hips level to the shoulders, and your choice for chaturanga at the feet or at the knees. Leaning forward on the exhale, descending down for three, two, one. Untuck those toes, inhale, up dog. Knees and thighs lifted, stretching the core. Exhale, take those hips up and back, and we'll rise back to down dog. Pedaling anything that you need from side to side. Finding that nice strict down dog from there, pressing the ground away, lifting those sit bones high, bending the knees and descending the heels. On the next inhale, we'll shift to the ball of the right foot and extend the left leg up and back for three-legged down dog. Growing long on that left side as you breathe through. On the next exhale, we'll round forward to plank pose, bringing that bum to charger along as we pull the left knee into the chest. Inhale, lift the butt and hips tall and plant that left foot behind the left wrist taking whatever you need to anchor the foot there. We'll re-anchor the hands down, staying on the ball of the right back foot. Inhale, the next breath, rise up, crescent lunge. Left knee stays stacked over left ankle. We'll keep the core and the ribs engaged, and then next inhale, stretch those fingertips to the ceiling. Exhale from here, we'll begin to hinge forward, as we send the chest and the arms forward, chest ahead, fingers nice and tall towards the side. Breathing through on the exhale, rep number one, gazing at the floor as we send the left arm to open up over that left bent knee into our twist. Inhale, take it back. Chest forward, fingers tall. Exhale, rep number two. Inhale, reach it back. And 
exhale, rock number three, moving into that twist, finding your end range, inhale, take it back, chest forward, arms and fingers tall to the ceiling, for five, four, three, two, one, exhale, the next breath, we'll descend those hands and arms to plank, circle, sweep that left leg back. And your choice for your fulcrum between the feet or the knees, leaning the shoulders over the wrists, breathing through for Chaturanga. For three, two, and one. Inhale, untuck the toes to up dog. And exhale, take it up and back to down dog. Feel free to pedal it out from side to side. We're going to take a stretch here, just bringing those feet a little bit wider than hip width distance and the hands a little bit wider than shoulder width. On the next breath through, we'll cross the right arm to the left heel, grabbing on, gazing underneath the left armpit and press away strong in that left shoulder. Last five, four, three, two, one. Switching sides, we'll plant that right hand down into down dog, taking that left arm, crossing through the midline, grabbing the outside of the right ankle, gazing underneath that right armpit, press away for 10. Last three. Two, one. We'll reach that left hand back, descending the knees on the exhale as we release down to the mat. And then for our breath work today, we're going to take it nice and easy using our bolster or our pillow for a little bit of a stretch into the pectorals and chest. So we'll lay that bolster or pillow a few inches away from the spine. Make sure that you have enough room for your head to relax onto the bolster. Take your legs in any setup that you'd like. Try to scoop the scapulas on either side of the bolster and we'll move through some snow angels given our environment and weather right now. Finding where along the lines or the angles into our chest that we feel the tightest. If you find any area where you feel a bit tighter, feel free to hang out there through some breaths. We'll have a soft gaze forward or our eyes closed and work through for a nice relaxed inhale and exhale smooth and elongated, trying to fog the mirror or the window. We'll end with two to three minutes of breath work, just trying to calm our nervous system and relax back down. If the bolster at any time or the pillow feels uncomfortable, feel free to move it to the side and find Shavasana in a more calming position. Once again, two to three minutes here, just calming the nervous system as we end our session. I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Enjoy some yoga and movement, and any comments or feedback would be lovely. Thank you.